part of the show seems to be full of sex educators who seem to have a lot of crazy adventures. She's currently working, well, she's about to release a novel on lesbian werewolves. <laughs> Which part are we all for? <laughs> oh, yeah. Novel! What's the novel? Fuck yeah! <laughs> she blogs at tailofthepack.com until that novel comes out. And she teaches Girl Sex 101. Yeah. She's going to help me work on the lineup for our next event at the Uptown on May 24th. And the theme will be Girl on Girl. I plan to learn a few things too. Please welcome our final storyteller, Allison Moon. Tales of the Pack! Ow! Ow! I did the glasses for me, really. I'm going to take them off, I swear. It's a little bit too hundred pounds for me right now. Go for it. Hi, Elvin. So, my lover Joey and I decided we wanted to start fucking other people. Now, to be perfectly honest, we already had been fucking other people, but we decided we wanted to do it around the same time, in around the same place. So when he moved to Barcelona, I did what any best friend with benefits would do, and I packed a bag and joined him there. And immediately we were having a ball. I, we were staying at his Uncle Pepe's place. It was this uh, two-bedroom apartment on the top floor of a building three blocks away from the beach. Because apparently Barcelona is the kind of place where you can own a two-bedroom apartment on the top floor of a building three blocks away from the beach on the salary of a puppeteer. <laughs> well, we spent every day at the beach, and one day we were there, and I heard these girls talking, and uh, one of them was saying, No, 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 no. Not Favan. The fun. And I seized the opportunity and I said, The fun cool! And the girls whipped their heads up and started giggling and started dragging their beach chairs over to us. And Joey looks at me and says, You're awesome. <laughs> and I said, Yeah, I, I know. So, vaffanculo, for those of you who don't know, is Italian. It's, um, it basically means, kiss my ass. It's a cuss. Um, but directly translated, it means more accurately, uh, go to the ass, right? Okay. So, anyway. It's my favorite Italian phrase, I employ it as often as possible. So, uh, the two, the girls, two of them were Italians, and they took a shine to me. And the third was an American named Casey. And, um, she took a shine to Joey. So when he decided to take a dip in the ocean, I decided to make it easy on both of them. And she looked at me sweetly and said, so, he seems nice. And I said, okay, he's not my boyfriend and he's pretty good in bed. And she said, oh my god, you're awesome. And I said, yeah, I know. <laughs> so the five of us make plans to go to a club that night. It's one of those ridiculous Euro trash thumba thumba places right on the beach. It's got three floors of terrible music and no good beer. And it's like 35 euro to get in. But you know, the Italians invited us. So what are you going to do? So Joey and I show up that evening and we immediately run into Tracy. And so the three of us go to the bar, order a round of tequila shots, and before I can even finish sucking the juice out of my line, she's dragged Joey to the couches and is just grinding on him. And I think, well, that solves his problem. <laughs> now Mama's got to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> so I order another shot of tequila, and I take a lap. And downstairs, I run to the Italians, but they're busy mooning over some Brazilians who aren't getting them the time of day, so I let them to it, and I go back upstairs, and I'm starting to get a little bit desperate. So I order another couple shots of tequila and start weighing my options until I see him. He's an Orlando Bloom lookalike, and he's standing on the dance floor, surrounded by four of his male friends. And I think, well, shit, I know what I'm doing tonight. So I make a beeline for him. His friends are smartly move away, and we just start dancing. And then we even start making out a little bit before one word is exchanged. Finally, he says, I, um, my name is Matteo. <laughs> and I don't know if it was the tequila or Barcelona or my desperation or horniness, but I decided to make up a persona. Oh. <laughs> no, no, no. So I say, Hola, Mateo, me llamo Ana. <laughs> and 
Okay. He says, uh, where you are from? And I say, Aki. I'm from here. Now, luckily, Mateo was not from Aki, or else he would have known immediately there was no way in fucking hell I was Spanish. But luckily, he was from Milano and spoke zero words of Spanish and not much more of English, so we were fine. And the game was on. So we were dancing, we were making out, things were getting hot and heavy, and I decided we need to move it on to the beach. So outside on the beach, I throw him onto the sand, I undo his fly, I hike on my skirt, and I just start riding the motherfucker. And it's hot. And I have to ask, is anyone in here from Europe? Anyone? Okay. So can I ask, uh, what's the requisite distance that a lawyer should stand away <laughs> while watching a bunch of people fuck on the beach? were smoking the cigarettes that fell out of my pocket. <laughs> it wasn't exactly a turn. So we reassembled our clothes and our dignity and headed back to the club. And on our way into the club, uh, Joey and Tracy were headed out and we all cheered drunkenly at our good luck. And then we decided to head back to the flat. Back at the apartment, Joey shows Tracy into his bedroom. I show Matteo into my bedroom. And then Joey and I convene in the kitchen to get us all some water. And uh, Joey and I are in there, and I've, I have this moment of gratitude that comes over me to be engaged in this ethical, non-monogamous relationship that I've always wanted for the first time in my life. And I'm so grateful to have this awesome lover who's not jealous and not angry and not judgy and just is happy to be on this adventure with and almost to like confirm my feelings, I say, Joey, you know I love you, right? And he says, yeah, of course I do. I, I love you too. And we kiss. And then we start making out. <laughs> <laughs> and like three or four minutes into it, we both realize we have other people waiting for us in our bedrooms. <laughs> Uh, Matteo and I just pick up where we left off on the beach and we are having a great time and I'm trying to communicate to him what I want in like the handful of restaurant Italian that I know. So I'm just saying, uh, the phrase echo came in handy. Um, echo means here it is. Um, and then, well, let's just say that I was excited to get to use my favorite Italian phrase for the second time. Uh, time Matteo was obliging my kudo request, um, I start coming, and um, <laughs> up until this point I had completely forgotten that I was supposed to be Anna from Barcelona, instead of Ali from Cleveland, um, and so I'm like, oh shit, oh my god, I'm, if he, if he noticed, he was smart enough to keep his mouth shut up, up until this point, and so I'm like, I'm starting to come, and um, I decide to go for it. Um, I usually come, you know, normal style, kind of like a, oh, oh, oh God, oh yeah, oh. Oh. Instead, <laughs> oh, no. I come like this. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> Just after we're both finished and uh, we're communicating to each other like, you know, developmentally disabled third graders. And, uh, and he says, um, you know, I, I can go to Dublin. And I say, what? <laughs> he says, you, you know, I can usually go to Dublin. Some cigarettes, and we drink water, and 
Joey shows Matteo how to get back to his hostel and I talk to Tracy about her shoes. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and then I walk Matteo out and uh, as he walks into the Barcelona sunrise, he turns over his shoulder and says, Hola. And walks away. <laughs> and then I go back inside and uh, Joey walks Tracy out and um, as he's doing that, I go into to Joey's bedroom and I get naked and get into his bed. And um, then Tracy, or then Tracy's gone, Joey comes back, Joey gets into bed with me and spoons me and uh, I say, so, how was it? And he says, she said she liked me too much to fuck me, so she gave me a blowjob. Oh. Oh. And I said, oh, poor baby. <laughs> and he said, how about you? And I say, well, I got fucked in the ass for the first time and it made me become like a girl from a reggaeton song. <laughs> He says, you're awesome. And I say, I know. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then his cock gets hard and we fuck. And it's the best sex we ever <laughs> And um, And then as I'm lying on his chest, I'm stroking his cheek, I, I look at him and I say, Joey, would you like to go to Dublin? <laughs>